Faroe Islands have fallen to the Italians. Interesting, interesting. Uh, British convoy is dead. So my submarine fleet is now growing and they are definitely doing some damage. If it grows large enough then we'll start uh, doing a full blockade but it needs to be quite a lot bigger before we do that. War support increases. We could do with more stability. Am I researching 1940 fighters yet? Yes, I am. Twenty-eight convoys. Oh, hello. We sank ten of them. Okay, we're getting pretty good at this convoy sinking, Lark. Submarines are definitely a lot stronger than they used to be, which is good. That's very, very good. do wish I could switch this to one of the other ships. It's an early hull. I'd really like it to be, for example, a Huck and Longbeard. That just cancelled the progress completely. No, it didn't. It assigned the progress to the Cape, then. Alright, I'm not going to question it. Couldn't do that earlier. That's another two convoys dead. And I'm not really losing too many of my own, so we are definitely coming out ahead here. Between myself and the Italian submarines. Two more convoys. And we even shot down some of their planes with a submarine. Actually, to be fair, submarines did usually have anti... Um, plane support. Oh, and we have planes here. Yeah, that was probably what it was. We're down to just 84, so we could probably do with developing some more. I also feel like we could probably update our templates. Seeing as we have no support, because I didn't have any of the gear for it. Uh, do I have any motorized? 58. I don't think I'm actually producing them. Oh no, I am. Slowly. Well, we probably want, say, artillery. Huzzah! Shenton, thank you very much for the resubscription. Two months now. Nice one. Thank you so much for that support. USA built aircraft carriers. Yeah, I know. You know what's good at killing aircraft carriers, though? Submarines. Oh, Shanxi has just capitulated. Shanxi government's gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated to Japan. The Kingdom of Romania cedes Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. The Kingdom of Romania has been forced to give in to an ultimatum from the Soviets. The territories of Bessarabia have been passed to Soviet control and the Romanian state is left with its borders diminished. Soviet Union claims Bessarabia. After massing troops on the Romanian border, the Soviet Union has issued an ultimatum to Bucharest. So we basically just heard that same story from the other side. Oh, that's the Canadian fleet's just arrived. Hello, Canada. But then also the uh, German subs just arrived too. A treaty has been signed at Vienna following German arbitration that will see northern Transylvania restored to Hungarian rule. Treaty of Cryova. More concessions have been forced out of the Kingdom of Romania with Bulgaria reclaiming southern Dobruja. 
Territory was annexed by Romania in 1913 after the Second Balkan War and is still mostly populated by ethnic Bulgarians and Turks. We've expanded the oil refineries. We're getting absolutely tons of oil, which is great. Antilles defenses. Curacao gets a bunch of fortifications. I kind of like the sound of that. It only takes 35 days. Considering the huge importance of our oil refineries on Aruba and Curacao, it is not strange that foreign parties with a vested interest in them seem very nervous about the weak state of our defences here. If we want to avoid these parties feeling the need to defend the islands for us, perhaps we should see about improving the defences. And actually, one thing... I'm wondering... Aha! How I can send fuel. So I'm currently producing 88 a day, so if I send you, say, 50 a day? Me giving Lend-Lease to Germany. Ha! Ah, just feels funny. I mean, obviously they're going to have a lot more stuff than that, but as soon as I get my refineries up and running properly, I will be able to export a heck of a lot more. So close to reforming the government. Just lost another sub. But how is the submarine fleet doing? They are growing. They are all Charles's. Charles class. Joshua, thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate that. What focus is Germany doing? That is a good question. It's not kill Holland anymore. They can't do it. It's not allowed. Reichsautobahn. Improving their infrastructure. Huzzah! Add maximum infrastructure to Brandenburg, Hanover, Thuringen, and Franken. Just, just like that. Maximum. Crikey. Warbird coming in with the 18 months resubscription. That is insane. A year and a half. Thank you so much for that, Warbird. Appreciate that. Wait, did the camera just. Oh, for Pete's sake, the camera just crashed. I restarted it before the stream. I thought that fixed it. What is up with this? Alright, so I'm just going to turn the camera off because screw that for a laugh. Gone. I'm not restarting it now. Alright, Antilles defences are still going. Modified government. Okay, we've hit 150. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, war economy. My fuel reserves have just gone up. Production should have just gone up. We're still building naval yards. Those naval yards should be... Alright, so we've maxed out our submarine production. We are now producing one every two weeks or something. That's pretty good. But it's not good enough. You know what we can do? We can set up a second line. I want more Charleses. submarines every now and then. <laughs> Considering we have one left, yeah, we are definitely losing subs. How's the air war going? Well, in fact, Germany is probably bombing southern England. Uh, maybe not. How's the aeroplane surplus? That is actually going up. That's good. Another 55 days on the next tier of fighters as well. I did join the Axis, yeah. The intention was to go down the Axis tree, simply because I really like the idea of... Where is it? 
assume the naval burden. We basically become the major naval power in the Axis. And yes, I know Japan is probably crying about it. Okay, the, the major Western naval power. How's that? Which is the focus that I will be trying to get to. Although I can't placate the Japanese anymore because I just lost some of Indonesia, so that has to be retaken first. Which is more than a little bit frustrating. Oh, the Spanish are over here. Hi, Spain. Oh, I have some troops. Interesting. Well, this should be commanded by... In fact, all three of my commanders are in place or are busy at the moment. Um, how do I want to do this? Potency. Let's just set you to fortify this island for the time being. It's 21 to do that properly. And I know that there is something which gives me another commander here somewhere. Point new supreme commander. Oh, but that loses us uh, reinders, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because he does kind of suck. I was thinking that maybe my submarine fleet had finally died, but nope, they continue to get more ships. And Heifrich has just reached level 5. Green water expert, shallow sea, movement, attack and defense. Is English Channel considered shallow sea? It is. Is all of this shallow sea? Yes. In fact, I'll bet that one of the new map modes is a terrain map mode. Yes. Aha! So this is deep sea. This is all shallow sea. This is fjords and archipelagos, as is the Caribbean. Now, where are submarines the most effective? I would guess shallow. One way to find out. So, fjords and archipelagos, they have better visibility but worse positioning shallow seas no they're actually really bad in shallow seas right because they can be seen Duh. and yeah they are good in deep oceans but they are a lot slower okay so I guess if we did have them out here they would die less frequently Hey, you, Swamplands, build our ships! Germany, 1940. Lost another one. I thought I'd be able to at least keep my head above water. Not going quite as well as I'd hoped, I must admit. Just need to keep our submarine production just improving and improving and improving and just pump more and more of them out. Also, we are having a little bit of a steel shortage. Has Germany still kept their market shut to me? That's so inconvenient. Although I could be buying from Vichy France. Let's do that instead of the Soviets, seeing as Vichy France is right next door. That also means that we'll be giving them our factories rather than the Soviets, which I think is probably a good idea. Right, I do need a national focus. Um, and the other thing is I would also like to improve this stuff. 
and get the continental shipbuilding. I'm so mad that I was cut off from that. And did they just die as I had them selected? Yep, I think they did. Yep, they're now auto-filling. Alright, so we're going to build up maybe 10 submarines or something like that, and then send them out. Manpower is now slowly rising. Air forces. How are you guys doing? You are gaining more experience, which I guess is a positive. Mission efficiency is 78%. Submarine operations has just been finished. That's good. Except that we have 11 naval experience now. Okay. Um, let's get the basic snorkel. We can get the 1940 text now, can't we? Yes, we can. Sub visibility minus 33%. That's going to be a huge benefit. Especially with Mr. Camouflage in charge. Hey, uh, see you, lost man. Historically, there were special coastal submarines that were smaller and used to sneak around in fjords and things. Yeah, you can probably build those, but I'm, I, I must say I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the customization of submarines. Like, the other ship's really good. I'm quite pleased with that, but the submarines is a little bit... Eh. It's basically, would you like a lot of sub, uh, torpedoes or slightly fewer? Um, how about a lot? Okay, and what about your engine? Big engine or a not so big engine? It's not really a choice. How is this war going on overall? We have lost... Actually, far fewer than they have. Most of the losses have been Italian. And I've lost very, very few, but then I haven't exactly had a lot of people in this war. My industry is half of that of Italy. That's pretty good for them. Secondary power. Alright, so we've got the level 2 fighters now, which is great. Still working on that doctrine. That seems to be taking forever. need them off the coast. 1940 subs? Uh, yes. I just 
just want to double check to see if that would cost me... Okay, yeah, we'll probably get that once Naval Strike Tactics are done. Next mobilization, limited conscription, maybe? No, I think I'm going to go for the commerce rating genius. That plus 20% rating efficiency is going to be pretty nice to have. Hopefully. How's the air war going? Looks to be going pretty well. They don't seem to have very many planes up in the air, unlike us. And there's the naval strike tactics. Right, so naval strike was actually airbase. Yeah. I would like to have the air superiority mission effectiveness, especially as I do have air experience to blow. No, let's get the submarine. We can do that after. It's only 95 days. It's going to give me access to tier 3 torpedoes as well. So I feel like submarine fleets need a colour. Light blue. Subs. And you can have... What symbol? That one. Did you rename? You didn't rename. And I'm also going to create a new template for you, which is going to be... Sub... Mar green raiders. I'm going to say we want to have like 10 submarines. Let's go 12. Oh, he can command 10. So you're going to have 10. Communist China has capitulated. The Chinese government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated to Japan. China is getting absolutely squished. Saving. Curacao is being invaded. Who are we fighting? Generic infantry led by Henry Pownall. They do, however, have some shore bombardment. But we have three very well entrenched units with defenders. We should be okay here. Yugoslavia declared war on Bulgaria. Aha. And we did get the Curacao defense. I did do that, right? Yes, I did. Good luck with that. Crushed. You can command 10 task forces, not 10 ships. Oh! Yeah, okay, that does make slightly more sense, doesn't it? Alright, um, let's bring you up to 12, as I think that is a decent number. Let's also... Submarines. 12. Save. Okay. 
And then the subs that we are building here, we're going to put into Holland. Which I'm hoping forms a reserve. And then we should have it set. To accept ships from the reserves. Alright, so we've got the new Supreme Commander. So why is that ship not joining you? It should be. I'll do it manually. There we are. Should have happened automatically, though. Alright, so we've got a new general, which is important because he will have just replaced the guy who just successfully defended Curacao. Winkleman is a much better all-round soldier. He is a defensive doctrine, unyielding defender. That sounds like the perfect combination to defend Curacao. He is a field marshal, but that's eh, fine. And he does have several traits. He can be charismatic or organization first. I think I'm just going to leave that as is. Oh, and I can placate the Japanese again. Let's see if we can actually finish it this time. We must have taken Brunei back. No. Right, I'm going to hire another commander. Karsten Yulis. Congratulations. I would like for you to take command of that. Do that. It looks like we do have naval control. moment. Send volunteers from Nationalist Spain uh, to Air Wings. Sure. Modify government. Uh, no, not yet. Change fighter production. Did we finish fighters? Yes, we did. Good point. And in fact, before we do that, we should create a variant of these guys, which are going to have range, engine, hell, we could just build up their engines, need 175, um, go with level 4 first of all. Get those built. I'm wondering if I want to recruit another general because I do have two field marshals and I feel like they're kind of wasted right now. Yeah, I'm going to. So we've got. Let me just double check here. Gottfried von Vorst tot Vorst. He's going to be in charge of that. And then Winkelmann. No, Vorst von Vorst is going to go and command this army. 
Winkleman is going to be in charge of the home territories. Then Curacao is going to be Wilhelmus Best. Just because that's a lot more vulnerable. And then Helsdingen can be in charge of the main army. There's going to be a little bit of shuffling going on here, but I think that's going to be okay. Would be cool if fighter variants works like ships, but I'm sure they'll do a deal. Oh, God damn it! And every time it's cancelled, you lose any progress. Which means that that could basically just go on and on and on. Well, in that case, let's get the uh, Zonstrat. Rather than focus all of our efforts in building up our larger cities, we should distribute the new industry more amongst the outlying areas. Although, it doesn't look like British bombing is really having too much of an impact on us. Uh, one thing which I would like to do, if it's possible... Yes, high replacement priority. I want this wing to get the best aircraft because it has the biggest area to cover and the better engines will have a better range coverage. Especially when combined with actual range coverage modifiers. That's another good point. How are we doing for resistance? Yeah, there is a bit of it. The other thing I do need to do as well is upgrade my infantry divisions. What would it cost to make you into bicycle? Actually makes you better at suppression. You know what? Let's do that. Let's turn all of my infantry into bicycles. And by all, I mean half. Because I can't afford more. No, this is silly. I mean, yes, we're going to be doing that. But right now, I should be doing the support regiments, especially the field hospitals. Need 160, we have 178. Need 240, we have 793. That is perfect. In that case, let's also bring in some support artillery. We have more than enough artillery. And eventually I'd like to bring in engineer companies for the extra fortification, but that can come later. Ace pilot! If you take as many risks as the brave pilots in the Dutch Air Force, Christian Trunsvelt, a skilled pilot known under the callsign Mouse, has distinguished himself not only by returning alive from the recent mission over the English Channel, but by living through significant victories in many encounters. I'm actually going to do a little micromanagement of my aces. You are currently in the English Channel Division, which is exactly where I want you. Perfect. The assassination of Trotsky. Oh no! Leon Trotsky, once the top lieutenant and heir presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, 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 died today in Mexico City Hospital. He was attacked in his home with an ice axe by a Spanish national believed to have been in the employ of the NKVD. There we go, we've got submarine snorkels. Now, is that something that I need to add? To my subs. Nope. It seems to be automatic. Okay then. In which case... We're going to go for dogfighting experience with the air superior. Oh, no, we're not. Because we did a variant. Uh, we could do land doctrines. We could do better artillery. It's 1940. We could also do... Improve fire control. Or decryption. Let's do some more decryption. How far ahead is this from the YouTube channel? About seven hours.
Quite a bit. Castagnolis falls ill in his service for the Dutch Reich. It seems General Castagnolis has pushed himself too far. As a result of the bad climate in the operational area, the general has fallen ill. Sick for 30 days. Eh, fine. Yugoslavia took four provinces. Bulgaria was annexed. 63,000 equipment was seized. Ker Reiki. Yugoslavia is still independent. That's a big independent Yugoslavia. Right, so how my navy, submarine... Why are you not merging into this? I don't understand it. 